Hi, I'm Kathy, and welcome to the Slow and Heavy series. This three-part weight training series is designed to promote maximum muscular strength through the use of a very slow and focused lifting approach. This slow, concentrated movement eliminates the use of momentum, thereby allowing for maximum muscle fiber recruitment. It is the absolute perfect workout to help break through any and all strength training plateaus. This series is divided into three parts. Legs and shoulders, chest, back, and abs, triceps, biceps, and abs. Each of these workouts should be done once and no more than twice per week. These tapes have been formatted in a semi-push-pull manner to allow for maximum muscle recruitment as well as mental focus. For instance, by putting your back workout, your pull muscles, with your chest workout, your push muscles, your mental and physical energy is able to endure more staying power since one muscle group workout does not pre-exhaust the other. But I must warn you now, this workout is not easy. It requires concentration, determination, and a wholehearted commitment in order to achieve these superior strength gains. To help you keep your focus, I recommend using this series in shorter rotation cycles. If you should choose to stick with this rotation longer, that's fine too. Just as long as you remember that this program's success depends on your ability to perform each and every repetition as accurately and intensely as possible. You may find this surprising, but you will most likely need to lower your weight a little from what you would typically use on a heavy workout day. Again, the reason being is the slow speed of the repetition. When you take out about 90% of momentum out of a movement, just wait and see how much harder it is to lift that weight for the entire set. While there are variations on ways to train slow and heavy, this series will mainly focus on doing three sets of eight repetitions per exercise per body part. You will work six seconds on the positive or concentric portion of the movement and two seconds on the negative or eccentric portion of the movement. Though these workouts are geared toward the advanced exerciser, all fitness levels can benefit from this workout by simply working with a weight that is appropriate for their fitness level. We hope you enjoy this ultimately challenging workout series, and if you have any questions, please visit our website at kathy.com, where you will find additional information on form pointers, modifications, and tips on how to get the most out of your exercise program. Let's get started. Let's warm up. All right, we're gonna take a nice deep breath, inhale, exhale, and march it out. Now, take it out wide in a march. Down, two, now press up real strong. Good, do that again, come down for two. Down, two, and push. Really engage those pec muscles. Squeeze, up, do it again. Down, good, now you don't want your elbows to drop below the level of the step. Squeeze, and squeeze, up. Maintain that slight bend in the arm. Good, go down two, down, keep it wide. And squeeze up, come on, up. Good. And press, lift. Come on, come on, up. Let's do it again. Down. And press, exhale as you push up. Go again, really targets outer. And we switch right here towards center. Let's go again. Down. And squeeze up. Come on, pull, 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 pull. Two, and press. All the way up, all the way up. Feel the chest fibers. Come on, down two. And press up. Oh, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. Push through the stick. Ah, tension on the muscles at all time. Good. And down. Now remember, drive those elbows up to the ceiling. Straight up, pull them up, pull them up. And use your back strength. Pull! Ah! Uh, excellent. Go again. Down. And squeeze. Up. Up, 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 up. Let's go. Down. And squeeze. Pull. And squeeze. Come on. Pull up. Up, up, back to start. Down, and pull, squeeze all the way up, all the way. Good, and let's go again. Down, 
and pull. Squeeze, keep those dumbbells in. Control and align with your spine. Lift again. We're gonna be doing 16 sets. So we've got 12 more. And down. The rest of the body there. And hold that position. At any time that you find this position causing you discomfort, modify to the bent knee position. If we don't wanna be back like this, keep it just lifted and aligned with the spine. You're in a straight line. So you don't wanna be ducked down here. Keep it up and lift. That pretty much does it for our chest and back workout. So I'd like to just take us through some stretches. We've done a lot of stretching already, but let's just do a few to relax. Come forward, one leg in front of the other and come forward. Walk your fingertips forward so that you stretch through the back, upper back and shoulders. And pull it in, inhale. And exhale. You did a wonderful job on chest, back, and core work. Now, join us for the rest of the series this week. And if you have any questions, visit our website at kathy.com.